Welcome back to the Ezio Trilogy. Time for everyone's favorite aspect of the Assassin's Creed franchise. The tail. What does it mean? I told him to be here. You told him yourself? In person? Yes, myself, in person. I'm concerned that you don't trust me. As am I. Perhaps you'll arrive with the others. Walk with me. When they added the uh, rate this mission feature in Black Flag and Rogue and started getting uh, one stars on those, they stopped putting them in the game. Tried to lay the groundwork, making suggestions, but he has other voices at his ears. Then you must work hard. You must become part of his inner circle. See, I understand. But it's harder than I expected. And why is that, Carlo? I don't know. He just... Uh, the Doge doesn't like me. I wonder why. It's not my fault. I keep trying to please him. I learn what he craves and I have it delivered. The finest jams from the orchards of Sardinia. The newest fashions from Milano. <clears throat> Yes, and that's called being a sycophant. A what? What did you call me? A doormat. A flatterer. A bootlicker. Need I go on? Bastardo. You don't know what it's like. You don't understand the pressure in there. Oh, I don't understand pressure. No, you have no idea. You are a government official. I am two steps from the Doge himself. I am beside him day and night. You wish you could be where I am. Are you done? Hardly. You listen to me now. I am close. The Doge can be recruited to our cause. I'm sure of it. I just... I need a little more time. Time is not a thing we have, Rick Splat. <laughs> Yeah, after the ratings in uh, Black Flag, they uh, there's only one tail in Unity and precisely zero in Syndicate. Keep moving. Don't be such a little girl. Buongiorno, cousin. Senor Carlo? We thought Emilio would be with you. Emilio is dead. What? How? The assassin. The same one who hunted down the Pazzi. He's here in Venezia. E così? Silvio, did you not know? He could be anywhere. He could be here right now and we might not even know. He struck Emilio inside his own palazzo. And so? What of our plans? There is no longer time for subtlety, my brothers. We must act now. But Marco, I am so close. A few more days, if I can just... No. It happens this week. We should keep moving. What does the Spaniard have to say of this change of plan? You can ask him yourself soon enough. He's here? From Roma? <coughs> Oh, so I've heard. Good. And perhaps he's made a decision. Ah, About what? I didn't know there was a decision to be made. Stay here. Surely the choice is obvious to all. Obvious indeed. It should be the one who organized the entire operation. The one who came up with the idea of how to save the city. There is no lack of value in tactical intelligence, good Silvio. But it is wisdom one needs to rule. Do not stick to Calma, calma, Amici. Please. There's no need for this. 
You know it's not up to either of you. For all we know, we may not even choose a barbarian. Oh. <laughs> and why not me? I'm the one who's done all the hard work. Basta! We wait for his arrival. Are you sure he's coming? Yes! Signori, we should move a little faster. I feel eyes on us. Thank you, Dante. We will move at your pace. This guard's a good find, cousin. How much did you pay for him? Perhaps not as much as he deserves. He saved my life on two occasions, though he's not much of a conversationalist. There he is! Jaju! Enough with your inane prattle! The choice of Dojo was never up to any of you, and you were never given permission to make plans. Forgive us, Maestro. We wish only to serve. The plan is this. Dojo Mochenigo will die tonight. And once that it's been done, Marco shall take his place. We ringrazio humilmente, Maestro. <coughs> Good. Messer Grimaldi, you are closest to Mochenigo. You work the most vital. Serve us well, and it won't be forgotten. Walk with me. I don't want any blood spilled, you understand? It must appear to all that he goes quietly. Certo, Maestro. When are you closest to him? I have full run of the path. <laughs> he may not care to hear what I have to say, but... He trusts me by now as one of his own. Bravo. Then I want you to infiltrate the kitchen and poison his meal. So be it. Marco, can you furnish us with a suitable toxin on short notice? I defer to my cousin. That is really his area of expertise. Ah, Silvio. I am at your service, my son. What can you bring to get this done? I will confer with my associates in the streets, but chances are good that I can procure some cantarelle. Yes, and what is that? Seems like Rodrigo would know what that is. Arsenic and difficult to trace. Oh god. That was freaking smooth. Wow. Almost landed right on Rodrigo. All right then. Mm. Oh dear. Oh, dear. Smile. My oh, was that for me, Ciao, oh, ragazzo. I dropped it. He Some Grand Master Templar, huh? Some guy falls from about five stories up and lands right by you? Forgive me, Maestro, but is this not perhaps a tad dangerous for you? Involving yourself so intimately with the minutiae of our plans. I feel the need to involve myself more directly. The Patsy disappointed us in Firenze. I pray you will not do the same. Do not worry this time. The Patsy were a bunch of foolish... The Patsies were a potent and venerable family, reduced to rubble by one young assassin. Do not underestimate this troublesome foe, who now haunts your city. Or the same fate will befall the Barbarico. I want this done promptly. Bene, I must return to Roma. Time is of the essence. Do not fail us. Che idiota sono. I 
should have kept my eyes on them. I need to go and see Antonio if I have any hope of salvaging this mess I've made. Open the wound. Ongoing. Please be patient and do not bend frustration caused by delays at the work in Let's go get my uh, codex page uh, translated real quick. Leonardo! Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha! <laughs> you found another one! How exciting! Is this an inverted Caesar shift? If I just substitute these letters here, I've got it. Thieves got new digs. Bello mio, come stai? You back to see me already? Desolato, mia cara, but I am not here to play. I must speak with Antonio. It's urgent. Antonio! Ezio's here! Ezio, is everything all right? Carlo Grimaldi and the Barbarigo are in league with the one they call the Spaniard. They're going to murder the Doge and replace him with one of their own. They will have all of Venezia, their entire fleet, in their grasp. And they call me a criminal. Then you'll help me. You have me on your side, brother. And the support of all my men. And women. Grazie, amici. But, Ezio, I must warn you. It's not going to be so easy this time. Palazzo Ducale is the most heavily guarded building in Venezia. Nothing is impenetrable. <laughs> this is why we like you, Ezio. Come, let's go take a look. We'll come up with a plan. It's towards the end of their run now, but at one point Venice, as a city-state, had the most powerful navy in the world. This business with the Doge. Terrible. Though, treachery like this no longer surprises me. When I was a child, we were taught that the nobles were just and kind. I believed it. Though my father was only a cobbler, and my mother a scullery maid, I aspired to be much more. I studied hard. I persevered. But the nobles would never have me. If you are not born one of them, acceptance is impossible. So I ask you, Ezio, who are the true nobles of Venezia? Men like Carlo Grimaldi and Marco Babarigo. No! I say we are the thieves and mercenary. And whores. While we work to save this city and its people, the nobles seek to make it their plaything. We need to scout the palazzo carefully, see it from every angle, 
We just might find a way in. I know of a tall campanile behind the palazzo. Or we might find a way to climb the back of the basilica. Do you have any ideas? I assume the front door is out. <laughs> Va bene. We'll try the front door as well, Saputello. Segui me. Just do that for the uh, achievement to spend, uh, I think it's 10,000 florins on courtesans. So, what do you think? We're not getting in this way. They'll have time to murder the dodge before we're able to get through all these guards. Or fall in. Taking the stairs. Look at that. Archers everywhere. And the walls are impossible to climb on this side. Let's go. Some assassin he is, huh? Bene, we're in luck. Looks like there's a perfect path up the scaffolding to the roof of the basilica. Shall we? Stay close. Ezio, look! Isn't that him? Grimaldi! Don't you understand what I'm offering you, signore? Listen to me, please. Or this will be your last chance. How dare you! I'm sorry. Mi dispiace. I meant nothing by it. I'm only looking out for your safety. We're running out of time. There's no way through this fence, and there are guards everywhere. Diavolo! Follow my lead. It's impossible. 
There's no way in or out for men. Only birds. Yes. Birds. Where are you going now? To see my friend Leonardo. Ezio gonna pioneer human flight. Again, something to think about. I need your help, Leonardo. Does it work? What? What are you asking? Does it work, Leonardo? Can it really fly? I don't know. It's only a prototype. An idea. It's not ready yet. Have you tried it? No. It's too dangerous. To test it, you'd have to leap off a tower. Who would be mad enough to do a thing like that? Leonardo, I think you just found your madman. I wanted to set a game in a time period where Archimedes can be your uh, gadget guy. So, how does she work? Have you ever watched a bird in flight? Set a game it's in Syracuse. Than air. It's about grace and balance. You must use your body's own weight to control your elevation and direction. Good luck, Ezio. Better crash in the water. This is ridiculous. The palazzo's too far away. Diablo, I give up. I end up killing myself before I ever kill another Templar. I can't believe it. It worked. It really worked. You flew, Ezio. You flew. See, si, but not very far. Well, what were you expecting? The machine wasn't designed for distance. All right, look. Let me go over my plans here. Maybe I can find some way to extend the duration of the flight. Ezio, my men tell me Carlo has the poison. We must hurry. Antonio, this is Leonardo, the master inventor who built this... this petro di merda. Hey, it's not the machine's fault. It's mine. I've checked and rechecked my blueprints. It's just impossible. I don't know how to extend the flight. Ah, che idea del cazzo! Eureka! Of course! <laughs> Genio! What is he doing now? It rises. It needs fire. Heated air under its wings will lift the machine. Leonardo, what good is one fire going to do? Not one fire, Ezio. A dozen, built all across the city. Enough to carry you from here all the way to the Palazzo Ducale. How? Ah, oh, capisco. My men could do that, but you are forgetting about the guards. Don't worry. I will take care of them. I'll give the order to have my men move in behind you, and hold the locations. They'll light them all up the second the sun goes down over San Marco.
Ciao, signore. E venture me to your amici. Damn, but I missed. And then I just wasted uh, three smoke bombs. Got him back, though. That's two fails in a row for double assassinations.
God damn. The moving. You don't want to annoy me. Please. Satisfied, I know it. We must find my wounds, noble senior. I gotta go all the way to the Thieves Guild, huh? It was closer than that. Let's do this. It's time. You did it. It's beautiful. See. Now let's hope your idea works. Because we're nearly out of time. Listen close, Ezio. You're going to want to fly from fire to fire. The heat of each one you pass over should lift you back up in the air again. Bene. Careful, though. There's archers out on the roofs tonight. Avoid those arrows, or it will be a short trip. I wish there was some way I could use my sword while flying these things. 
<laughs> well, you do have your feet free. If you get close enough without taking an arrow in the head, maybe you could kick them off the building. Nice. It's now or never, amico mio. Seems that we could have started from there, since we control that building, you know? Just kids with firecrackers. Come, it's your move. Apologies, signore, but you should have listened to me when you had the chance. Seems you have failed, assassin. Forgive me, signore. I tried. Why? What was it all for? <laughs> Assassino! Assassino! He's killed the Doge! The Doge is dead! It takes one assassin to kill another, it seems. We kill thinking it's best for us. Do we not, Messer Ezio? I do this not for myself. Compio questo sacrificio per il bene superiore. Requiescat in pace. You... You killed me? You killed me?! Go! Go! We'll catch him, don't worry! And we escape out into the Adriatic.
Gotta get our mask from uh, Leonardo here. You're alive! I is it true? They say you killed the Doge. I was trying to save him, Leonardo. But the truth matters little. I failed. And now I'm the most wanted man in Venezia. Well, perhaps you are in luck. It's Carnevale in Venezia. This is the time when everybody goes without a face. That's why I'm here. Do you have a mask I can wear? Of course, of course. Somewhere in here. Grazie, amico mio. I have something for you. Oh, more of the Codex. Aha, uh -huh. this one's quite hidden gun. Hmm. It's a new design, my friend. A mechanism for your wrist, but not a blade. In fact, it seems to be a kind of arma da fuoco, but as small as a hummingbird. Is that possible? I have no idea. Let's build it and find out. Kind of sad that as the uh, timeline goes on, your gun actually gets less advanced as you go. You know, you get up to AC3 and you're you're using an archaic flintlock. You've done me good, brother. Macerto, but I'm sure your return was not just to play with new toys. Is it about this terrible new dodge they've installed? Marco Barbarigo. Then you'll want to speak with your friend Antonio. I've seen him quite a bit lately at a, a mutual friend's. I'd look for him there, in the Dorsoduro district, to the south. Ask for Sister Teodora. Sister? Well, um, <clears throat> in a way. Yes, sister. And Ezio, you can't be carrying weapons out there today. Grazie, Leonardo. Now, about that mask. 